Y'all to you, man. Y'all seem to be loving these videos, man. And I'm glad y'all do because number one, I love doing them. Number two, this tablet was not cheap. This was this is what I used to do it all on, man. Um, I got my pen, and then I can just I can just go here and uh, you know, I can just just do whatever I want to mark stuff up. You know, be like John Madden. Boom, bam, bow. This is what I use, man. So you know, I'm glad y'all like it because this thing wasn't cheap. And I didn't know if this was going to work, but y'all been supporting these joints so much that I'm just going to keep on doing them. Let me know what else y'all want to see. We're going to try to do the pick and roll. I got a pick and roll video, um, how to defend that joint. So y'all be on the lookout for that. That'll probably be tomorrow. And I'm going to have the defensive badges video, but I got to test out some of these defensive badges, which ones work the best with my boy Mac. Also, if y'all don't do that enough, man, make sure y'all like the video and comment LDU down below because every time you comment on the video, you are in it and like the video, you're in it for a chance to win a $50 gift card, whether it be $50 in VC, it could be $50 straight up in cash app. I could buy you the game if you don't have it. It's gonna be the extra regular ass edition though, so don't worry about that. And then last but not least, at the end of the month, I mean, we're gonna be doing that tomorrow. That's on Friday, every single Friday. But also, we, at the end of this month, if we can average 10K views, which we are on track to do because some videos are performing much better than others, if we do, get up to 10k views and we can average that we're going to give away a next gen console at the end of the month it could be an xbox it could be a playstation it could be whatever you want it doesn't matter what it is man just make sure y'all get down there get active ldu at the end of your comment like the video share this joint man and just let's get right into it man so right off the bat bro this is one of those videos we playing against a clan uh not a clan but uh it's, it's just a team and what i'm going to show y'all is this is one of those where you're going to play the defenses and you're going to play the right defenses and sometimes things like that are going to happen. Just because you played the right defense does not mean that you're going to be stopping them every single time. So right off the bat, they coming down court. Boom, you see me, I'm pushing them to the corner. I don't reach, guiding them back to Gambit. This is something right here that's a little bit underrated. We're going to try to go fast. You see them getting ready to cross? You see, the, you see this guy, he's going this way. He's coming this way. This is the this is how you know this is squad, and this is how you know that people get mixed up a lot. When this happens, I say Gambit, I'm staying left regardless. So that means that I'm gonna receive the guy coming this way. Gambit is going to receive the guy coming that way. That's how we're gonna run it. And as you can see, we crossed it up, boom, I release him. He uh he backed up. We thought that he was gonna drive off of that, but he didn't drive off of that. But Gambit still has ample time. He still got, uh, he backed up right off the bat, right? But he still has ample time to close out on this because dude is in a move. He closes out, he got no shot. Boom, go to the corner. Here we go right here. Now, again, this is my this is my lesson from yesterday. I want to try to push him in here to Gambit. Gambit is already standing right here. He's looking and then I will go, I'll go to Gambit's guy. But if he goes up with an obvious move, then I'm gonna go up with him. So he rounds the corner, boom. As you can see right here, I go with him because I recognize what the move is. Now, if he kicked it out right here, that's going to be that's going to be one hell of a pass if he kicks it out. So what we're deciding to do is we're both going to commit to him right here. Bim bim. We're going to commit to him right here. But Gabby didn't know if I was going to go for his guy. He got there a little bit late and because of that he scored. I got to do a better job on my side of um of letting Gambit know what I'm going to do. Right here you're going to see you're going to see the guy gets by Gambit. Brute's head is inside. Gambit is Gambit is probably gonna go to Bruce guy, depending on what happens. But this he doesn't go up with it because now he has to pass it. So now Gambit has time to get there, and he gets back to his man, gets him squared up. Look what he wants. What he wants to do is he just wants him to go one way. You see me do a little baby pinch right there. He hit Gambit with a spin back. Boom. Now this is what this is what you gotta know right here. This guy is cutting back door. Nine times out of ten, what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow the back door because Gambit is already here. So I'm gonna allow the back door. But some reason my off ball pest was working a little bit too well today. So it made me drag it made me drag him down to the corner. Right here this guy is open. You're gonna see me release from him because I'm trying to get off him right now. And then what I want to do is just let Gambit pick this up right here. They don't have Brutal to play at all. So boom. He throws the ball. But one thing you're gonna see before before we get it. You see he he's getting ready to throw it. But I am getting ready to bear down on him. And as you can see, Gambit has totally committed to this area here. So boom, we get the turnover, we get the steal, get it out the Brute real quick, and he gets on the rim, man. Next play, same thing. Brute is playing the, playing the defense. Here we go. Dude drives, um, we get caught inside, and bam, there we go. 
I think that on this one, this is one of the ones where we didn't do a very good job of communicating uh, what is gonna go on. Ideally, ideally, you either want to say this is gonna be my pinch because Brute can can more easily get here, or if uh, if Gambit calls it early and he knows that Gambit is already looking here and he's gonna go there, Brute has to Brute has to let him go. He got to disengage about right here and then he's gonna have to get out of there. But that's not what happened. He goes in. And uh, we thought it was gonna go up, so Gambit jumps, Brute goes for the chase down, we get caught with our pants down, and uh, you know, we, we just get caught. Sometimes that's gonna happen, but you learn from it. Now we know that this guy's gonna be a passer. Hey, sometimes, like Nike say, sometimes you wanna get dotted because good things happen. Uh, they think they can throw that pass and then they'll waste time on the shot clock and all that good stuff. Yet again, right here, this is just an unfortunate situation, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. Ideally, what would happen is when when this guy goes around Brute, I'm supposed to step here and pick this up and then Brute would drop off and pick this up. But that's not what happens. What happens is he goes behind his back. Did I even reach right there? I didn't reach, but I didn't, oh, Brute reached. Okay, that's what happened. Brute reached, so I didn't know he didn't have him. Uh, it was still been a good time for us still. Didn't get it. Hey, very unfortunate. But again, you learn. So next play, what do we do? Check, check out what happens here. He thinks he's got a clear rim run. And if I'm the average corner, then he probably does have a clear rim run. But again, what did we talk about yesterday? This is this is Brute's territory. All of this in here is mine. You can't come in here and all of this in here belongs to Gambit. You can't come in here without having to see me. So what happens? He, he dribbles in. I cut this off. I cut the high drive off because obviously he wants to do the high arc and go around and get on the rim. I'm cutting it. I cut that off. So he can't do that. That's that's over with. So now the only thing he can do is try to get in here and go to Brute. And Brute's already standing in there. So as you can see, as we go, boom. He can't go here. He can't go through both of us. Good stop right there. Good stop. Now, what I'm trying to do right here is get the steal. As you can see, there are two people here. I'm going for the steal. I don't get the steal. You can tell my, my, adrenaline, my one adrenaline bar is gone. Before we go in there, I got three adrenaline bars. He comes through here. And like I said, we just debunked it. You can't get every steal. You're not gonna get all of them, but hey, it is what it is. He does a, he does some some crazy move. And uh, as you can see right here, I clear my guy back out. And what are you gonna see right here? This is something that I told y'all about every day. So I'm gonna maintain my leverage. Right here, I wanna do the same thing. I wanna push him at Brute and push him in this little area right here. I do not want him to get to this outside. If he gets to that outside, Gambit can help me a little bit. But Gambit's got to watch this man. He's already made a three. We just don't want that to happen. So look, even right here, I'm engaged with him. Look what I'm I, look what I'm gonna do. I'm even going to, I'm even gonna run back away from him. Look, I'm I'm here with him, and then I even reposition myself. Look how look how fast I ran to reposition myself because I don't want him to get that outside on me. I know he's gonna try to drive out there. So right here. Boom, disengaged, ran, and then we still want to keep him in this, it's, it's, I don't know if you want to call it a kill box, kill zone, whatever you want to call it. We want to keep him in here. So we now we know we know he can't go here. He doesn't want to go here because Brute is here. He can't go here because Gambit is here. And so the only thing he can do is try to score. Got to kick it out. Thought we were going to get the steal right there. Bam, bam. Here we go. Now, right here, we got a, we got a little decision to make. Look. Brute right here, and uh, he's gonna end up getting hooked up on him. So because Brute is here, the other guy's gonna try to run out. Gambit is on him. There's not a whole lot this guy can do. We get a great contest, and we out of there. So next thing you go, next thing down the court, sort of the same thing, man, but a little bit different. Like you just see, like look at the switches. Not like I said, not everything is gonna result in a very good defensive stop. But yet again, coming down the court. I can't say this enough, man. I'm, uh, and the reason I say it again is because every video is somebody's first video. So if y'all see some of the concepts repeated, y'all just have to, y'all just gotta know, know what time it is, man. Here we go right here. This is Brute's area right here. You see, this is my area right here. You see that you see you can't come in here. I'm even gonna try to get me a steal. This is Gambit's area. All this out here belongs to Gambit. So Brute is doing his job, funneling him down. I tried to get a steal, couldn't do it. Go back to my guy. He kicks Brute all the way off. Right here, boom. Look, they get crossed up because he gets pushed out a little bit. Uh, I don't know what happened on that, but he gets he gets crossed up. Look, Gambit, once again, he comes in. Now, he can maintain this position right here because he can't make the pass, and even if he does, Gambit can loop back and get to this guy. Brute is in the middle. You see me 
you see me coming across in the middle trying to man my area as well right so bam this dude is funneled down he can't do a whole lot i tried to go for the steal right there couldn't get it get pushed inside great defensive positioning don't have to do anything gambit goes back over the top dude tries to drive gambit gets two jumps bam he misses we got the ball back and uh you know we get down court yet again another one of these crosses right here you know they're gonna try to set the double screen right here once they try to set the screen they already said brute knows brute normally will try to get through the screen but if he gets hit hard right here then he's just gonna take this guy right here and then gambit is gonna pick him up this is up to your center to be looking at the guy and looking at you he has to look at both of them and see what happens so you're gonna see right here brute's gonna get hit hard by the screen boom nothing he can do he's gonna actually he got hit by two screens now normally what will happen is if i see him get hit that hard i'll go there but whoever whoever can get released from that animation first uh they're gonna go there i think he gets released right there so he goes on to the guy i'm already standing there there's not a whole lot of, that he can do gambit got this guy boxed up and you see why gambit got him boxed because yet again you see gambit got him in this corner now when it's the same it's the same principle man same thing with this triangle except for now we're gonna take away all of this in here this is our job we're gonna take away all of that in there so boom he's gonna try to force him to the corner he don't have anything to do i'm still on my guy i'm trying to push him down there and they give him a layup dunk bro they give him the craziest warm-up dunk like i got him i got him but i made i made the wrong the wrong mistake like last night i told y'all how it normally goes where you come out here and then the guy is what you want to kind of do is is get this outside shoulder because we actually want him to try to drive to shoot that gap because brute is going to step down but his guy's a little bit off i don't know how they let him shoot the gap but i end up having to trail him and then we were there but he just got very fortunate on that that's, that's not a whole lot i can do about that this right here same type of principle he gets the comp dunk but we had the defense set up the right way we got the defense set up the right way you see gambit's over out over playing this outside shoulder now ideally we want brute to take away a little bit more of this but we can't because if he throws this pass and brute goes a little too far down here there's no way he's gonna be able to get back here i'm pretty much i'm we out of the play over here we just over there so uh what we what we thought was gonna happen is like i said you, you see gamut maintaining his outside leverage uh his outside leverage trying to push him in here uh toward a brute toward brute and then brute gonna try to help him right there but it really didn't work out like we thought it was he got a comp dunk we didn't get to taste down it is what it is i mean it's gonna happen you're not gonna get every stop but again you learn from it you learn from it you don't you don't get down on each other you say dang we made a little made a little bad switch there you know same same type of deal same issue right here as you can see i think gambit controlled the dial but he was out of bounds same thing Bam. It's, I mean, I'm going to speak. I'm going to preach this to y'all all day long because y'all need to start getting active in these corners. This is this is my area right here. You can't come in here. I'm not going to let you come in here. He comes in. I step down, try to get a reach in. Look at me not cry. Look what happens. He literally dribbled through my hand, bro. And y'all seen me reach in two or three very good situations today on this joint. Did I get the steal? No. Did I did I cry? No. Hey, we just kept playing ball. But look, he literally spins through my hand. Look, the ball goes through. Look, the ball go through my hand. It goes through my it, 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 it hits my light, my eyes. It hits me. And then all of that stuff. So I'm thinking I'm gonna get the steal. I couldn't get the steal. Because I went for the steal, I'm hanging the team out to dry. So at this point in time, I thought I was going to get it. I didn't get it. But he didn't take the shot. He didn't do anything. So now what we're going to do is I'm going to continue to follow him. Brutus is going to pick this guy up. And then obviously Gambit is still here. But he's not going to allow an easy pass to here. So I follow him up top. Now, same exact thing. Now we back to the now we back to standard, right? So everything in here belongs to Brute. Everything in here belongs to Gambit. It's the same thing. It's going to be the same thing all the time. He dribbles, spin back, drive in there straight at Brute. He got nowhere to go. Go to Gambit. All of us are here, and we get a stop. I don't know why he drove into all of us like that, bro. That was just, that was just not a very smart thing to do. But like I said, getting the defense set up and knowing exactly what you're going to do, that's the main thing. We're all in position. I don't know why he did that. He tried to kick it out, but you know he could. But the main thing is, 
when I had this set up, he tried to go in here, me and Brute are here, and if, if, and if Brute don't want to do that, he can still slide off and go to him, because at this point in time, I got this show, the clamp's going to kick in, he's not going to be able to go up with it, and as you can see, he can't go up with it, so he had to pass it, and you see Brute still take a step toward that guy right there, but he knows he's coming in, so you know he's going to come down and do his thing right there. We get to stop, hell ball, and we get to stop. But like I said, I'm showing y'all all of this because you're not gonna get every stop with this. There's gonna be miscommunication. There's gonna be times when the guy still scores. There's gonna be times when people are just left completely open. But you gotta continue to fight. This is a great defensive possession right here. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna run it back after this. Brute ends up jumping, we get a block. And this is what I'm saying, you can never give up on a play. You can never sit there and just leave your teammate out to dry. Right here, same thing. As I said, the same principle applies, and I'm gonna tell y'all every single time. This is Brute's area right here. You see him cheating now. You don't wanna cheat now. You don't have to cheat now too, too much. But you know, you see him cheating down, boom. He drives. You see Brute come down. Go try to get a little swipe in. They didn't let him get the swipe in. He tried to kick it out. And like I said, do you see what you see what actually happens? He comes in, try to get a little swipe in, but he still got his head on the swivel so he can get back out to his guy. And before his guy can even take a shot, he got back out to him. Gets back out to him again. He jumped. Now, as soon as Brute jumped, because he thought he was going to take the shot, because we know they're looking for a three right here. As soon as Brute jumps, Gambit makes a beeline for his guy. Brute's going to have to make a beeline for Gambit's guy in case he tries to kick it out. Fortunately for us right here, he don't try to kick it out. He tried to get on the rim. But as you can see, you see, if, if somehow he was able to pass that ball, you can't pass the ball behind your head. You see, Brute was already on his horse to take care of that guy right there, man. So, you know, that's just a dope. That's just dope. It's just, it's just good defense. Go down, get on the rim. And then this last one that we got before I let y'all get up out of here, man, this is just the last possession of the game. And it's, it's just one of those things, like I said, I'm going to tell y'all, this is a screen, uh, screen or whatever. That's just a great bait. Not even going to lie to y'all. That's just a great bait. And we're going to show y'all show y'all what happened on, what happened with this on the bait. So, boom, here we go. Root don't know if he's going to go through that or not. He doesn't take the screen. Right here, right here, we don't know if Root going to, we don't know the guy was going to take the screen or not, so Root was going to go under. Now, if he had, if Root doesn't try to get back here, he can, he, he can either stick with this guy or he can go back to him if he doesn't get hit. It's up to me to see if he gets hit or not. But, once I see Brute running back over there, watch what I'm gonna do. You see, you see how I go because I don't want him to take the shot. But now I see Brute, I see Brute get up to full speed. Right here at this point, I know that before this guy can take a shot or even get to the corner and take a fade, Brute will be able to get there. So I'm gonna make a beeline back for my guy. Now watch this right here. Check it out. We go here. He thinks that he has the shot. Look at me. One, I hang in there like a long. A lot of times you gotta hang in there. One more second. What I'm doing here, I'm hanging in here just a last little second so so he knows that he can't round that corner. Now that he knows he can't round that corner, I go back to the top, get a great contest. I mean, and that's pretty much the game right there, man. We're going to go down court. We're going to get the, uh, you know, we get the bucket. We win the game. But the main thing that I want to show y'all here is that not every single time are you going to be successful with it. And like I said, this was a, a clan squad type team type joint, man. And I, I, I just want to do more of these because I want y'all to understand that not every time, like I said, you're going to do everything right sometimes and they're still going to score. You're going to do everything wrong sometimes and then you're still going to get a stop. But the main thing is to get these things, get with your squad, learn how to get these ingrained in your head and like i said you see there was a squad right there so i don't want y'all to be like you know it wasn't a squad or anything like that get these rotations ingrained in your head talk about it with your teammates you don't have to do the exact same rotations we do but just do some of them man and uh you will be a better defender and this will uh this will help your survivability uh anyway <laughs> how to y'all next time man it's your boy jay easy aka fresh from the barbershop bk the people's champ Gosh, please. Gosh, please.